Hello joyful ones, Joan Craig with Choose Joyful Health here and in this video I'm going to share with you how to use a carrot, a stick, and a friend to help you keep exercising or start exercising even if you're stressed, unfocused, and unmotivated. I've been hearing from a lot of people who are joining BASE Training for Boomers which starts May 5th, runs May 5th through May 15th. It's a free online training to help you be balanced, aligned, strong, and energized at home. Hello, John Jackson. I'm glad to see you here. Please say hi when you find this video. So I'm gonna tell you some tricks because right now we're missing our external motivation, right? Our external motiva motivation to exercise could be the gym, could be the yoga studio, could be going to do things with friends that are active like dancing. It could be that you had a trip plan to go on a cruise and go somewhere where you needed to hike up a hill or walk around museums or do something else fun and exciting. And right now many of us are missing those fun and exciting things. We're missing also the fun weekly things like group exercise, like our friends and our teachers and, and that stuff that we have in person. So I was reminded by Holly Calloway of Powerhouse Consulting. It's a business coach. She's a great job about what motivates a donkey. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to start with that. So what motivates a donkey is a stick. Right? You can poke the donkey with the stick and the donkey will move forward. You could also hold a carrot in front of a donkey and it might come to the carrot. So some of us are more motivated by the stick and some are motiva more motivated by the carrot. And I was very, very surprised when I did this exercise in business coaching with Holly that I am more motivated by the stick. And those of you who know me, you know I try to be really positive, optimistic, my middle name is Hope. I'm all about positive energy in the world. But I found out I'm actually more motivated by the negative, the fear. Right, the fear of what could happen if I don't take that positive action I need to. So when it comes to exercise, uh, I would love to hear from you. Like there's this negative side, like if we don't exercise, especially as we age, right? You can get away with a lot up to 40 years old and a little bit beyond. And, um, but after that, we do start to have some like aches and pains if we're not exercising, right? We notice if we don't do our normal uh, stretching or strengthening or our cardio exercises that we start to feel, uh, you know, less energized, right? We start to feel maybe some things in our joints. So that's the stick. The stick is the pain that happens when you don't exercise. The stick is that if you're not strong, you might fall, right? The stick is that if you're not taking care of your um, bones, you might break a bone. These are all the like the negative sides of not exercising. But the carrot, it's organic. The carrot is that when we do take care of our bodies, we can stay strong. We can have muscle mass, which we know goes down as we age, and we can wear sleeveless shirts because we have nice arms, right? We can feel good about how we look. And when we feel good, we, we know we can serve our purpose in the world in a better way. We can um, take care of ourselves. So those are just some ideas. And I know, again, some of those external motivations are missing right now. Maybe you don't have any pool parties planned where you need to get in your bathing suit or no, you don't have any travel planned where you need to go and be in shape for these um, hiking trips and museum tours and climbing the temples, that kind of stuff. So my challenge to you, my question to you today is, are you more motivated by the stick, by the negative effect of not exercising by, and depending on your age, right, you're, you could have a fear of losing independence, of not being able to do stuff. And a lot of my one-on-one um, -on -one students and clients are active, 
They play golf, they play tennis, they like to garden, they have pets and grandkids. And a stick, the negative stick for them, a lot of times is the fear of not being able to do those things. One of my clients in particular, I remember she really got serious when she had a grandbaby because she knew that when that kid was one year old, granddaughter was one years old and two years old, she needed to be able to keep up with her in order to be a safe babysitter. So that was the stick, the fear of not being able to do it. So are you more motivated by the stick? And if so, let me know what's pushing you right now or what you could draw on to push you, like what's deep inside. And it's okay to say those scary things like, I'll share one for me that motivates me. And some of you have heard my story about Grandpa Louie. My Grandpa Louie ended up with um, his back like super, super hunched because he had osteoporosis and bone fracture. He had fractures in his spine. And my Uncle Jim and my father all have osteoporosis. So for me, that's a stick, right? The stick is I have osteoporosis on the male side of my family, which is quite unusual, and on the female side too. So I'm motivated to dance, walk, hike, stomp, jump, and keep my bone density strong. But I'm motivated for that, that scary side, that stick side. That's an example. On the carrot side, I've worked with adults for the last 16 years who were between about 55 and 75. That's my typical students, my typical clients. And so on the positive side, I've seen what stretching and strengthening and staying committed to fitness can do. And I've seen people be able to stay quite active and kayak and hike and travel and garden and do the things they love because they're investing in their health. So let me know when you find this video, please say hi. And also let me know what's motivating you. What's that stick end? And then what's the carrot side? And looking good is a really, really tasty carrot. It's a really powerful carrot. And it's one that I sometimes think that we downplay and perhaps in your own mind, you, I, I have, oh, well that's, that's superficial, but it's actually really important and it's one of the strongest motivators. So it's, if your carrot is you want to look good, I'd like to hear about it. Uh, that's, let's see, what else I have? Oh, um, yeah, the big stick, right, is this fear of not being independent. We want to keep our independence in our body and our mind. Oh, there's a third part. So the first part was the stick, the second part's the carrot, and the third part is a friend. How can a friend keep you motivated at this time? So depending on your quarantine situation, if you're alone, you may need to rely on friends via phone and video and remote friends. If you have family members, lean on them, like if you're quarantined together with others, lean on them, for example, uh, Tuesday morning, my mom and I usually walk at 8 a.m. and she came by and first I said, oh, I'm too busy. I'm getting ready to teach my online yoga class. And then she walked down the steps and I ran to the door and said, no, wait, I'm going with you. Because I knew the power of that workout buddy, that walking buddy for me. So lean on your family and your friends. That's the friend part. And then finally, if you are not already signed up for base training for boomers, it's a free online training, May 5 through 15th. I'm giving it from my heart. I'm not holding anything back. I'm giving all the top strategies that I've used to help active older adults, mature adults, men and women, stay balanced, aligned, strong and energized. Those are the top four things I've identified in my work that are really essential for the healthy aging process. I'm giving it away for free and you can sign up at choosejoyfulhealth.com. When you sign up, you will be asked to fill out a survey where you can tell me what your top priorities are, the questions you have, and what you most want to get out of it. And that's not canned content. I'm making it up based on the responses of the participants. 
that's my story. I'd love to see you there. Choose joyfulhealth.com. I didn't even introduce myself. Joan Craig, you'll find out. All right, take care. Share this and then invite a friend to do it with you.